YouTube. It's your girl Gladys and I am finally back after a year. Um, this video is going to be interesting actually. Uh, when we were doing YouTube about a year ago, I was actually pregnant. Um, you guys didn't know this, but I did. I was pregnant with twins. Um, we ended up having a boy and a girl. But as I went back through the YouTube videos and stuff, and I was looking, and I was watching them, and I was like, I was really mean for no reason. Like, um, but hey, I'm not pregnant no more, so. Uh, but with that being said, I'm gonna tell you a story about my pregnancy. Um, as you guys know, around that time, I was just getting ready to start school. I was getting ready to start my first year of college. Um, and it wasn't like, I mean, my pregnancy was very unplanned, but it wasn't like it was everybody's business. Um, but I actually ended up hiding my pregnancy for five months, 20 weeks from my dad. I was about like 21, 22, honestly. Y'all yeah, believe it or not, five months. Um, and I was, I was actually pretty big. I'll put some, um, I'll put some pictures in the video, but I was pretty big, um, so, with that pregnancy, they changed my due date. My due date was changed three times. First, it was April 1st. So, I told my mom, I kind of told my mom, like, right away. Um, just because I really, I talked to her a lot about stuff. Um, and she actually didn't believe it. Like, cause, it's because my due date was April 1st. My due date went from April 1st to April 6th to April 17th. No, April 13th. Um, mind you, Marquand's birthday, Quan's birthday, is April 21st. Um, so he really wanted me to have it on the 21st. But I was not going over because being pregnant with twins is hard. Um, but let me get into the story, basically. So I, I didn't find, I found out I was pregnant. I was about six weeks. Um, and it was kind of like... I knew, but I didn't know. Like, I had missed my period. And it's like, okay, I ended up talking. I ended up taking a pregnancy test. The pregnancy test was negative. Cool. Went on about my business. And I'm like, okay. Two weeks later, I still didn't get it. But but I had ended up talking to Quan's mom, basically. And she was telling me, like, oh, maybe it's because, like, I was changing shifts. I was up at a different time because I was working third shift at the time. So I was like, oh, yeah, maybe it's that. Um, that was not the case. It was, it was me and my friend, um, she's more like a sister, but I had ended up standing at her house and we ended up taking the preg. I, I don't know. <laughs> I ended up, we both ended up taking, um, pregnancy tests, but mine came back positive and I was like feeling weird, but in a sense, I was hoping like, I'm not pregnant cause y'all know I'm, I'm a TT kind of girl. But now I'm um, So my test ended up positive. I sent it to Quan. He was like, for real, like very like bland. Um, and then I had went, I had went to see Quan's dad the next morning, basically, because I took him to test. Cause I still couldn't believe it. Like, not me, but it was definitely me. So I ended up, he ended up making like this overdone rice, some steak, and he put some like cheese in it and like this oily broccoli. Very nasty meal. I ended up throwing it up. But thank God, I wasn't like sick my entire pregnancy. Like I was sick just a couple of times. But it was like I was genuinely like I had got fat. Like I was losing weight really good. I was drinking this tea, the like lasso tea, iso tea. I was drinking that tea. Um, and I was losing weight really good because, I, you know, I was never the skinniest girl. Um, I don't know if y'all can tell in the egg video. I'll put that link in the description. I was big then. Um, but, yeah, I ended up getting really big really fast. Um, but then I think I'll insert a picture right here. I was about, like, three months pregnant, three, four months pregnant. And I clearly had, like, a baby butt. But, like, people used to be like, oh... You're not even halfway and you look nine months like i was i was big um so i didn't know how my dad didn't know but i but to to give the benefit of the doubt 
I did stay upstairs a lot when I was pregnant. A lot. I stayed upstairs. I did homework because I just I couldn't. I was not going downstairs. And like I wore really like loose clothes. I'm not gonna lie. Like I used to steal Quan's clothes. And I thought like I was gonna wear the hoodies and stuff, but no. I didn't wear the hoodies. Like I wore a big ass winter coat. I'm not gonna lie. I did wear a really big winter coat. But yeah, pretty much. I hate my pregnancy for five months. But it was it was kinda but I, I wouldn't recommend it actually. Um, because I'm not gonna lie, like when I was upstairs in my room just sleeping my days away, I used to be really hungry, like and I didn't work a lot because Quan didn't want me to work because I was really like in I was really in pain a lot. Like I was like eleven weeks pregnant. And it was like I couldn't even move, like I had like I don't know what they call it, like pelvis pain. I don't know. But I was in like really bad pain with that. So that was another reason I stayed away. And then I wasn't like eating like a pregnant person should. I mean, but I'm not gonna lie. My mom, she would like, it, it came to a point where like, I feel like she knew cause I was getting big. But she would bring my dinner upstairs basically. And she would like stuff the plate. Like, not gonna lie to you. She would stuff the plate and I would eat upstairs. But it was like, I don't know. I got pregnant in August. And my dad's birthday is in October. So August, September. And I got pregnant in July. So I was like three, four months. And I had a legit baby bump. Um, but I don't know if he was in like such denial. Because I we I am the baby. I got a twin sister too. And you know, Kwan has a twin brother. So he was like, but my sisters, this is how it goes. I'm the older twin out of us, and she's the younger. And Kwan's the older twin out of them, and his brother's the younger. So it's kind of like we, we're all the babies because we're all our parents' last set of kids. Is that the baby coming in? No, that's more Kwan kicking in. <laughs> um, but we're both our last parents' set of twins. So it was like I was the baby. So it was like, I feel like my dad was in denial. Like it was one time, like I was downstairs eating, and he said something like, uh, it looked like I'm having twins or something. And I knew that I was having twins. Wait, flashback. Flashback to the twin thing. Damn, I feel like I messed the whole video up. So, before I found out that I was having twins, actually, the first ultrasound... I'm going to put this in the front. The first... Oh, fuck. I don't want to restart the whole video. Okay, before I found out that I was having twins, you know, you do the whole little ultrasound, and they actually schedule my ultrasound right away. They schedule my ultrasound right away. But be oh, let me say this over. He's gonna have to fix this video. They schedule my ultrasound right away because what they schedule my ultrasound right away because for the simple fact that me and Marquan were both sets of twins. I have a sister. He has a brother. Um. So they actually went, I was doing, I did the glucose test at the beginning of my pregnancy, actually, um, with the little sugary drink. I had the orange one. It just tastes like flat pop, flat orange fanta. Um, so they scheduled my ultrasound that night, actually, that night. But we couldn't do it that night because we didn't have a car. Or we, well, I had a car, but I wasn't driving it. It was messed up. A lot, a lot of stuff going on. Um... So we went the next morning at like seven o'clock, but we got there at like six o'clock and I'm just like in the waiting room, like saying like, what if it's twins? Cause we're both sets of twins. And I'm like, what if it's twins basically? And he was like, stop saying that I'm a jinx. But I was like looking at myself, like, I'm getting big. You know what I'm saying? Like people normally don't get this big. And we went in the waiting room and you know, they did the ultrasound and you know, the, your first ultrasound is like, they do the like little vaginal thing um, with the little camera thing. And basically, the lady was like, oh, there's another one. And I was like, and I just felt my heart, like, drop to my ass. Like, I cannot make this up. And I looked over on the side of me, and my client is just smiling his little life away. And then, the, but, bro, the lady had me bent because she's talking about, oh, let's see if we can find another one. No, you're not going to find another one. You better not find another one. So, here we were with twins, and... I don't know. Everything, everything didn't necessarily hit me at first until after I had the kids. 
But I hid my, but with me hiding my like half of my pregnancy, I'm not gonna lie, I didn't do a lot. Like, I never had my hair done. I didn't take maternity pictures. I did have a baby shower. My granny, my granny did throw me a baby shower, and I took really cute pictures there. Um, I'll put them in. I'll put them in the video actually. But yeah, pretty much. I stayed in my room all the time. I wore really loose clothes. Like I'm talking about pajama pants, not pajama pants. Like you, then if you're trying to hide your pregnancy, I highly recommend you wear like the cute, the cute jogging pants. I was just wearing some regular basic jogging pants, a big t-shirt, but I, there wasn't much that I could fit, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I ain't gonna lie, there was this, there was this pair of jeans, only, I could only fit one pair of jeans, but when I tell y'all, them jeans hung in there with me, I had them jeans before I got pregnant, but they, they lasted my entire pregnancy. Them jeans just ripped a couple months after I had the babies. And that's probably because I wore them so long. But I paid $10 for them jeans. I ain't gonna lie. I paid $10 for them jeans from Charlotte's Roof. Roof. But that's before they changed. But yeah. Basically, that's what I did. Um, I highly don't recommend it. Or another thing was, I did stay at school a lot, like, a lot longer. I would, I probably, my mom, she worked second shift. Like, she was working tonight, baby. I ain't gonna lie, I tried to go home as close as to the time she got home. I don't know why I necessarily, like, hid it that long from my dad. I don't know. It's probably because I felt like I didn't want to disappoint him. You know what I'm saying? But then again, it was like, hmm. How much, you know, how much did I really care about this point? I don't know what it was, but more of the story. I hate my... Oh, and then it was like when I would tell my siblings, like I was, I got a sister, and I would tell her, and she just did not believe me, and I would be, at, I would ask her order me some food, and I would be at home hungry because I don't like spending my own money. The girl laughed at me, but I will say, like with one occurrence of my pregnancy, the day we found out the gender, we were supposed to do a YouTube video, but we were just so excited, we opened, we we just. We just opened it right in the car. But I, I was dropping Quan off. I had to drop him back off at work. And as I was leaving, it was like a real snowy day. Like this car hit me. And I was like coming down the hill. And like the car spun out of control and it hit me. Like the car could have flipped over and everything. But it was like he hit me at the time. I didn't have my driver's license or nothing. Like the car had insurance. But I was just like, I don't have none of my stuff on me. And I was in, I was just in such a good mood. I had a girl, I had my daughter, cause I really wanted a girl. And I got the girl, but I got my son too. Oh, um, I love him, but at least I got the girl. But my son, my, my son is really chunky, he really cute. But I'll probably never have no more kids. Cause I only wanted, we only wanted one. Yeah, you can be in my video. Oh damn! I want to say something. Say hello. You can continue. Um, but we had a boy and a girl, which was I ain't gonna lie. It was actually perfect for me because it was like I don't have to have no kid, no more kids at all. But the only thing is, my first time having kids, God basically threw me too, and I was like, all right. But yeah. You know, every time when I explain. Every time when I tell people like, oh, well, we got twins, a boy and a girl, they be like, oh, wow, no more kids for y'all. Yeah. <laughs> I'm really not having no more kids. Why am I have a couple with Gladys? I need I need a I need a junior, I ain't gonna lie. Oh my goodness. You know we're not gonna get into this. I, I at first she asked me, she had asked me, did I want a junior? At first I told her, nah. But then, like when she when it when it came for her to have like the babies and shit, when she was having the babies, I told her, mm, "Yeah, I want to have a I want to have a junior." But I had already had his name picked out. I I named him I named him after my dad. And but I named him Maurice. His name is not Maurice. His name is Maurice. It, it's it's, it's Maurice. I'm the one that named him. Don't let him listen to you. And I named her Amore. And they're beautiful kids. Like, they really are. It's Maurice. It's Maurice. 
He his name I ain't gonna lie. His name was supposed to be Daquan, which was actually really perfect. Um, because Quan, but that was my brother. My mom had a stillborn. Um, and I ain't gonna lie, I didn't I didn't make that his name because I didn't really want to jinx him, like just in case he ended up being a stillborn. But his name is really supposed to be Daquan Maurice Doris Kimball. But and then a more name is originally supposed to be Lanaya. Right, that was supposed to be her name, Lanaya. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed Ain't to be that her name. middle name? No, nah, we named her Monet. It, her oh, middle name no. is Monet, but her middle name it was, look. It was her middle name to... is supposed to be Monique. Her middle uh, name is supposed to be named after his mom' middle name. But that's yeah. yeah but <laughs> I was so high off the epidural, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. I spelled I spelled Monet so ghetto. But now that I think about it, I'm like, why did I give my baby this middle name? Like yeah. everybody got that middle name. Yeah, I thought. I literally thought my mom's middle name was, it was Monique. Her middle name, Monique? Her middle name is Monique. Yeah, I thought it was Monet. I should call, I should call her like, hello? I mean, it's it's close. Yeah, but. I, I don't think I ever told her that though. Like, you knew you got her middle name? It was supposed to be that? It's because you didn't want her to have my mom name. But my mom name was. No, because they don't, they don't, it's not, it's not fair. To have both of your parents name after my kids is like it's not. I like, carried them for nine months, but by myself but, that wasn't fair. But I who, messed my body up. But that but, wasn't but, fair. Uh oh. But uh, we could make another video. We we're gonna make another video on the life of having twins. Oh yeah, y'all gonna y'all gonna be able y'all gonna meet our kids. Okay, when they behave right. <laughs> No, we, we no, don't. I'm kidding. They don't. They be y'all. Y'all can meet the kids, but we gonna make it. I'm thinking a lot. I'm so tired. We gonna meet the kid. Y'all gonna meet the kids, but we gonna make another video. Yeah. How it is to have twins. All right. Have a blessed night. <laughs>